Hey all my family, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial is all about structural designs of stadium start to finish. We are going to skate tutorial parts using a Prota structure software. Watch up to the end. The structural models of the stadium looks uh, like this. This is uh, all about the transistor. That includes uh, the uh, purlin plus uh, that of cladding and the uh, brassing for uh, the transistor. And uh, the vertical slab for it uh, looks uh, like this. Now it's a time for subscribe my channel, like this video and write your feeling on the comment section to motivate me for a further tutorial. Thank you. Let's start today's tutorial. That is tutorial part one. Let's open a Prota structure a software from this uh, make it new project. So uh, let's select a building code of standard. So uh, in our case, let's select a uh, UK that is a code. After that, uh, let's write the project code, make it a steady make it steady after naming the project code uh, make it okay Prota structure working interface is uh, coming like this so uh, let's go to the modeling menu after that uh, by selecting orthogonal axis uh, generator let's go to uh, set all the grids in x and y direction so uh, to do this click on any point here so we have two choice that is uh, direction one and direction two so direction one and direction two uh, are nothing but it's direction one is mean that all the uh, axes that is parallel to uh, the x direction and uh, direction two all the axes uh, that is parallel to or towards the y direction from uh, our model this is uh, all about uh, the axis uh, that is uh, parallel to uh, the uh, x direction so the first axis this uh, the office area have to use starting from this colon to this colon it's better to use five meter and the last part that is as uh, the setting or the inclined slab part let's use uh, 14 uh, meter so uh, let's uh, set all this uh, data so from this uh, let's use uh, 14 meter uh, that is uh, 14,000 uh, millimeter times uh, one or uh, make it comma after that uh, the office part that is uh, 500 a millimeter so uh, i have uh, going to set all the data towards uh, the x direction let's proceed to direction two that is the axis uh, towards the y direction this means all, all these uh, grid spacing is so uh, let's enter all this data so i have to use uh 500 millimeter uh, spacing each uh, times six comma uh, three uh, thousand uh, millimeter that is for the uh, entrance part this is spacing that mean after that, uh, make it comma again. After that, uh, 500 millimeter times uh, six. So uh, let's make it okay. The grid spacing in X and Y direction looks like this. So let's proceed to the next step. That is all about setting out of the building story height. So to do this, let's go to uh, the building story set out. From this, uh, let's use story operation here. From uh, story operation, let's go to uh, insert story. From this, uh, let's go to insert uh, two stories, make it okay. After that, let's go to again a story operation here. So uh, edit story. From this, uh, let's uh, make it the first story as uh, 3,500 millimeter, that is 3.5 meter. The first story is from this point to this point, that is uh, from uh, 0, 0 to uh, that of top of uh, the inclined slab. And the second story that is from top of uh, the inclined slab to uh, the starting of the truss system that is a uh, 4.5 meter so let's uh, insert all this data make it 4500 uh, millimeters after that you can edit or you can add uh, some description all about uh, this data after that uh, let's make it the foundation depths as uh, 1.5 uh, meter that is a uh, 1500 uh, millimeter after this uh, make it okay after setting all this data uh, let's go to model our project uh, starting from uh, modeling the column and the beam so uh, to uh, model our column uh, let's go to uh, modeling here after that uh, select the column so uh, for this purpose uh, let's use 600 millimeter by uh, 250 uh, millimeter column section so uh, let's click on here click on here uh, to draw our column but uh, for the column around uh, this axis, uh, let's edit it. This is uh, for the connection of uh, the truss system at the top. I will show it uh, later, the final output. So uh, let's go to uh, double click here. After that, 
move this uh, column towards uh, the uh, upper side. After that, uh, let's go to uh, select or let's go to use all this property. After that, you can draw uh, the column uh, like this by dragging it. So uh, by uh, clicking this uh, column uh, property also, you can uh, draw our column uh, like this. After drawing all the column like this, uh, let's proceed to uh, draw all the beams. So to do this, go to uh, the beam menu here. After that, uh, let's change the cross section of the beam as uh, 600 uh, millimeter depth to 250 uh, millimeter width. So uh, by clicking uh, the center point here to uh, the last point, you can draw uh, the beam like this. After that, uh, let's proceed to draw uh, this beam. So uh, to do this, uh, click this point to this point. After that, uh, let's move it uh, towards uh, the column in the point. So uh, let's uh, move it uh, using the uh, arrow on your keyboard. After that, uh, let's use this uh, property. Uh, so uh, you can draw clicking by this point to the last point using this uh, property like this. After drawing all the beam towards uh, the x uh, direction, let's proceed to draw all the beam towards the y direction. So let's use this uh, beam property. So uh, clicking this point to uh, click on the last point. So in this way, you can draw all the beam uh, towards the y direction. This is all about how to draw the beam in uh, the column. So uh, let's shift this column towards this, uh, this point. After that, in similar way, uh, let's shift it. So uh, in this point also, uh, let's go to uh, shift this column to align uh, within uh, the beam. After drawing all the column in the beam like this, uh, let's proceed to the next important point. That is all about drawing uh, the shear wall that is uh, below that of uh, the inclined slab. So uh, let's show it in the model first. The shear wall is the green uh, color. So this part, this part, and uh, the shear wall around uh, the entrance, that means this and this part, and the last uh, corners of uh, the stadium. So uh, let's uh, proceed to uh, drawing this, or let's proceed to model uh, this part. To do this, uh, let's go to uh, the wall property here. Let's use uh, 250 uh, millimeter wall thickness, starting from uh, the last points of uh, the stadium to uh, this point. Uh, let's draw the wall. It's better to show uh, in 3D uh, to fix all the elevation. So let's make it in 3D, make it 3D. Let's rotate uh, this part. This is a uh, first floor of uh, the stadium. So uh, let's make it a uh, slant at uh, this part. That means the shear wall must be a uh, slant towards this, uh, this part to uh, model all about the inclined slab. So uh, let's make it edit at the elevation. So uh, to do this, uh, double click on it. After that, go to the 3D uh, view of uh, this shear wall. You are uh, going to edit the top part. So this is uh, all about uh, the G uh, top and this is at the eye top, that means this point. So I have to uh, minimize uh, to uh, 3.5 uh, meter uh, towards this or to get at zero zero of uh, or the first uh, starting points of the inclined slab. So uh, let's make it 3.5 uh, meter, that is uh, 3500 uh, millimeter. So uh, make it minus to minimize it uh, towards the zero zero, that means. So update. Our shear rule is uh, drawn like this. After that, uh, let's make it plan again. Make it uh, plan again. So uh, let's uh, replicate this property to address uh, the entrance. That means uh, around this point. And this is also uh, the entrance part. So uh, to address uh, the last corner of uh, the stadium. Let's make it uh, in 3D again. This is uh, all about the inclined parts. Let's proceed to uh, draw the shear wall uh, towards it that uh, connects this and uh, this part. So uh, make it in uh, plan again. 
So let's go to uh, the world property here, make it 3D. So let's uh, minimize uh, this part also. So minus uh, 3,500 uh, millimeter. So update it. After that, uh, let's uh, connect all this point by the world. So make it in 3D. This is all about today's tutorial. Next other part I uh, will read uh, that is all about the modeling of inclined slab and that of all about the truss system that includes uh, the parallel decladding plus that of uh, the uh, bracing system. So I uh, see you there. Uh, thank you for watching. Goodbye.